Hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ahmad and me and my friend Faisha. Today we will give an overview of the topic inverted index. So basically inverted index is just a type of data structure which is used to find the number of terms which occurred you know in the given document or like your text file. Uh, so it is basically a dictionary of terms which we store to retrieve data or retrieve a document. Uh, now there is a list for each terms which holds the record for it. So it is also called a posting. Uh, now I will tell you the inverted index, how the inverted index works. So let's take an example of these two given documents. The inverted index, uh, so you know that the inverted index extracts the data in the form of dictionary so the result is like this. We have the term on one side and the appearance on the other side. The document ID is the document number and the frequency is basically a number of times that the particular word occur in the document. Uh, we can see the another word where another occurred in the second document only one time, whereas the word sample in the last occurred. Uh, in the first document two times you see in the slide like uh, likewise there are the other world and the other respective appearances hello my name is Farisha and I will tell you further about this topic here is the basic mechanism we have to keep in mind while creating inverted index number one is the case all the words are considered in lower case here is an example of this number two is the stop words Stop words are the words which are neglected. They are usually the preposition, articles, and the useless words. And number three is the stemming, in which all the plural are reduced to singulars. Example. So here's the algorithm of the inverted index. As my friend Ahmad told you that in inverted index, we keep a dictionary of terms. So what the procedure does is basically, we have assigned an empty dictionary. The program will start from reading the first word of the document and read the given document line by line. It adds the useful terms and the occurrence of the terms which is the frequency into the dictionary and it also mentions the document number which is a document ID. Now we move on to the advantages and disadvantages of inverted index. First of all the advantages. Inverted index is very fast and quick in searching. It performs full search of the text in no time. As we know, it is not time consuming in creating inverted index. It is very easy in creation. Last but not the least, the speed of reading the large file. It is very good in processing speed. Let's have a look on the only disadvantage we have. As you all know, we need huge amount of storage in order to keep the record of large file and their maintenance, which is updating, deleting and inserting data into the records. Here are the applications of Inverted Index. Inverted Index plays a vital role in working of the search engine. With the application of this, we can find appearance of the desired word in the document and the number of appearance of that particular word. In bioinformatics, it is the key part of the sequence assembly. The matching of DNA requires the construction of inverted index from the reference of DNA sequence. That's all from the presentation video. I hope you liked the video and understood the topic. Thank you for watching.